Hi everyone, Ms. Stella here, Learn to Grow. I hope that you're having a great day. In partnership with Thriving Design, I'm going to show you how to build structures for the garden, including plant supports with using sea bites. Sea bites are garden clips, which are reusable, customizable, and super strong, which makes them a great alternative to traditional plant supports and are also made in the USA. Because of the versatility and strength of sea bites, I was able to construct a frame for a season extender, similar to a low tunnel. This barrier provided protection from harsh weather conditions during fall and winter. The structure tolerated a light dusting of snow and we were able to harvest through winter. Sea bites work well with standard steel stakes, natural cane, plant ties, and nettings to name a few. Thriving Design is a family-owned business based in Colorado. As a 1% for the Planet and Public Benefit Corporation, Thriving Design proudly donates a portion of its sales to helping people connect to our planet, nutritious food, and a more sustainable future. In their recent partnership with Kids Gardening, Thriving Design will provide sea bite support kits to 25 youth gardening programs across the United States this year. So I'm going to be putting together a trellis for the peas. So I'll be using the 60 inch stakes and 30 inch stakes that will be going across. You can also place safety end caps. I love that. So we're going to put together a trellis for the peas. We'll be using the short ones to go across, just kind of place them down. Now it's time to attach them together. So I'm going to be putting the first stake across about a foot from the bottom. We're going to leave at least eight inches of the stake, which will be driven into the ground. Each stake has a pointy end so you know which side it goes down. To attach the sea bite, you simply just press it down onto the stick just like that. And here is a closer look. The next sea bite will just slide through this slot just like that. When you slide the second sea bite through, make sure it's flush. So that way it looks like this. If you wanted to, you can actually put these together first before putting them on the steak, which might make it easier. You just pop them on. Just like this. So I'm just popping them on just like this. And they are spaced at about six to seven inches apart. So we got them all attached. Now, for some reason, if this is not facing the right way, you can just rotate it. Time to snap in our horizontal stakes. So just make sure that it is straight across. I'll go ahead and pop it in the middle first. So you want to make sure that the bottom of the stakes are lined up across just like that. All set, now time to put this in the garden. Turned out great. Let's go ahead and place it in this raised bed. So we're going to plant our peas about two to three inches apart. Seed depth is usually twice the diameter or the width of the seed. So we'll be burying them half an inch to one inch at the most. Tomatoes are one of our favorite crops to grow, especially sun gold chair tomatoes. Since it is a vining variety, I'm going to put this trellis together to support it. I also plan on utilizing sea bites and garden stakes to support other plants such as nasturtiums, pole beans, cucumbers, and raspberries. I'm also going to apply this to the peonies since they tend to get top heavy, so this should provide the support that they need. Aren't they beautiful? Make sure to stay tuned for updates and thanks for watching. Also, thank you to Thriving Design for their partnership and we hope to inspire you to grow more food. Happy gardening!